With me is the general manager of the Los Angeles Rams, Les Snead. Signed, sealed, and delivered, I guess, uh, Jared Goff, quarterback from Cal. He's in here. How exciting the sealed and delivered, but not signed yet. But that should be easy. That, that won't be a difficult thing to do. Not with the, we had a good collective bargaining agreement when it comes to rookies. So, yeah, and what have the, the last twenty four hours been like for you? Has it been like the last two weeks? Have you known, or is it, it's gotten obviously more exciting? Well, you know, it's definitely gotten exciting. But I think once you make the move, uh, you got a good feeling of what's going to occur. So you know, a little bit of the, if you want to call it the adrenaline elation, dies down. But I can tell you that. You know, as it got closer to five o'clock yesterday, and we knew we were, we were going. We got a clock in the draft room that it's kind of like a shot clock counts it down. You know, hey, those uh, that excitement, those butterflies were back. And me personally, we were just making sure we got the logistics right. Are we going to be able to get him on the phone? Are we going to be able to turn in the card? All those things. So that's pretty cool. And it all worked out. It worked out. What's in it for him now? Because he's he's no longer a schoolboy. I mean, this is this. He, does he realize he's going to be the king of the world here? I mean, this is L.A. Well, you know what? He, he I tell him all the time. He's in the real world now, and and with that, you know, becomes responsibility. Because to truly be the king of the, the hill in L.A., guess what? You got to do. You got to you got to do things right Monday through Saturday, and it, and that usually leads to success on Sundays or. Thursday nights or Monday nights, and that's really when you become, if you want to call it, the king of the hill. Everybody was talking about Jared and Carson Wentz. What made, what, what put those two above everybody else, including guys like Connor Cook or even Kevin Hogan at Stanford? You know, for, for most of us, you know, if they, they complete passes, they're good quarterbacks. What, what was the difference between these two guys and Jared? You know, it's interesting because they're all good quarterbacks. I mean, not many of us could go do what the two you mentioned could do. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Kevin Hogan and a big fan of Stanford because of him. But, you know, it's all subjective. But for when we do our evaluations and all things, we just thought from a physical standpoint, and it all comes down to traits, dude, their traits correlate to starting quarterbacks in the NFL. And, and there's going to be some other guys in this draft that are going to be successful, some of them as twos and who who mop up or come in and, and spell a starter and, and win a few games and some big games and some guys are going to go on the start but we kind of felt like these two because of the traits were worthy of moving up last question what's what's jerry going to be doing now he's going to go to oxnard and he's going to be force fed a lot of stuff yeah it's a, yeah you're definitely force fed a lot so uh, it's I, I would i would relate to this Let's say you, you, you don't know Spanish. Well, tomorrow, guess what? We're going to put a textbook on the table. And, you know, by the end of OTAs, you need to know that textbook. He's going to have the Rosetta Stone of football. Yes. Very good. There we go. Lesney, General Manager of the Rams, thank you so much.